Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 12th, 2021. My goodness, almost halfway through the month and less than two weeks to Thanksgiving, we had a little bit of choppy price action yesterday, and I think that was expected. We talked about that yesterday in the morning prep. We had tech stocks trying to move higher, um, but ended up selling a little bit into the close. We had the Dow or industrials just looking lower kind of all day in a, just a slow, steady drip. But there was really no fear in the market yesterday. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Looking at these charts, we have an interesting setup here. Notice that I've been mentioning that possibility that we could pull back into some price support, and we haven't quite made it there here in the Dow. So four straight days um, lower here in the Dow, and we're so close to a price support, it would seem to me that that price support would pull pretty hard on that price action. But notice this morning, futures are trying to push us up here in the, um, the morning open. Let's also keep in mind that that is not a very strong price support that we actually could pull back into this area. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen today. I'm just suggesting that we could still see that price support level come into play here in the days um, looking forward. Friday has, has tended to be a very bullish day, and I got I to gotta suspect that the institutions are going to work pretty hard to try and get some positiveness going um, here by the close, to try and um, lighten the, the spirit here of the week as we continue to worry about inflation and those impacts on the economy. So watch that carefully. It is also possible, guys, and it wouldn't be out of the question if we had to rest here for a little while. This has been an incredible rally in the market. And we remember, there's a, the market actually spends more more time going sideways than it does going up or going down. So keep that in mind. We could just spend some time drifting along here sideways for a little bit, consolidating, which actually would be a healthy thing for the market to do if we can hold on to some support levels or create some higher support levels in these index charts. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY was pushed up yesterday for quite a while, but ended up just kind of settling down here by the end of the day. And it was big tech and, and tech itself that was trying to move up yesterday in places trying to continue that elevation in the chart. One of the things that I want to point out here, however, is that we have not even come close to testing support here in this chart. So as we look um, around here in the market, we notice that this level right through here could certainly still be tested unless we go into maybe a longer consolidation up here to, to create a new level of price support. The other thing I would point out in here is this trend has been so steep that we actually have kind of slipped down past that trend here. And that possibility, I think, still does exist that we could move on down to test this level of price support in the chart. Also keep in mind, that's not exactly a strong level of price support and that we could actually see us reach down in here before this pullback um, might be over. So watch carefully for that possibility. If we do rally back up, if we can find that inspiration and notice tech has probably the biggest chance, they, they seem to be, um, 
There seems to be a willingness to buy tech no matter what the price or how much they are elevated. But we could be running out of that inspiration um, uh, to of wild speculation because we're winding down that earnings season as well. However, let's notice we've got a little bit of price resistance right here. And it's, it is slight, but if we rally up, let's watch a level up here. If we run into that, we could um, certainly see a little bit of bearish action coming into play at that level. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now, QQQ has, whoops, QQQ was the bright spot yesterday in the market, closing with a little bit of green, although we did pull back by the end of the day. And let's take note here in this chart that we do have a little bit of price resistance right through here as we try to rally back up. Um, we might also want to notice that we've kind of slipped that trend and we're nowhere near a price support in this chart. So we're trying to make up our own new price support here in this price level. Keep note that there is that possibility that we could continue to see that little bit of selling here um, in the days forward coming back down to um, test this level of support now i wouldn't expect it to be a straight line decline um you know we could slowly kind of just consolidate dribble this down into the into an area in here to find that support or we could just dribble along here in a nice little consolidation move and create our our own new level in the market so that is certainly possible as well let's take a look at IWM now, IWM remarkably um, is now one of the stronger indexes in the market by appearance in the sense that we broke through a year's worth of resistance here in the chart and now we're trying to prove that we can hold this as support now we haven't come all the way down here to test this level and i still think there is that possibility that we could move on down here to test that level but keep a close eye on that remember our current trend is out here so we could just kind of dribble this down into this area to give that um, price support area a test so we could do some consolidating and honestly i think a little bit of rest here on the market would be a very healthy thing not saying we're going to get that but i think it would be a very healthy thing for the market to do let's take a look at um, our vix now our vix yesterday was just really muted we did pull back there was no fear in that little bit of selling yesterday, but let's take note that we have pushed above. We've pushed above a little bit of a price support in here and this pullback into this area. If we find that as a price support area and if we were to bounce off of that, that could be a problem for us here in the market. Notice that we've kind of slid out from under this downtrend um, in the chart. However, um, there would be no reason to believe with the bullishness potential that we have on Fridays here recently that we could drift back down below that level um, today and maybe even come back down here and seek some support down in this area. So no reason to believe that that's not possible as well. Let's take a look at our uh, T2122. Now our T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio, you can see that actually ticked up just a little bit yesterday. So we went just a little bit higher in T2122. And that was just simply, um, um, you know, we had just a little bit of buying in there in tech. And you saw there were quite a few stocks that, uh, that moved up sharply yesterday while the rest of the market was just kind of drifting um, drifting around so take a look right here if we can find some bullish inspiration today we have certainly opened up an opportunity here for more upside so if we can get enough bullish inspiration there is certainly room now to make that move However, we want to also notice that we actually have more room to continue moving lower. So if those bears were to find inspiration, we still have downside opportunity here in the market as well. So watch carefully for both of those opportunities. It could be an interesting Friday because I think institutions are going to want to try and close this market bullish, but there is just this over this dark cloud hanging over us with all of this inflation and um, elevated prices in, in stocks 
kind of putting a little bit of a damper on um, that enthusiasm in the market. So just watch that carefully and closely. If we look at our T2107, T2107 did pull back yesterday a little bit, but you know, it's okay. Um, not much, um, not no damage here at all in that little pullback that we had and notice we're holding price support. So this is gonna be important. If we can continue to pick these stocks up out of the bottom and get them to lift, get them back above their 200 day moving average. Notice we're right there, we're borderline 50% of our stocks above the 200 day moving average. So we are seeing that improvement here. If that can continue to hold, that'll certainly help and be an inspiration for those bulls. If we take a look at our T2101, T2101 drifted lower yesterday. As you kind of would expect, it was a, just a real slow, dry, boring day, honestly. But notice right in here we had this, um, this um, downside um, move yesterday and we're maintaining in this price wedge here on T2101. And we still have that certain, that certainly have that possibility we could, could just continue to wind in here building this wedge out to the tip. So watch that carefully. Um, it'll only be, I think, if we surge up above there where we start to get that fear move in the market um, and we could see um, the market uh, turn uh, lower if that were to occur. But no fear of that, at least at the moment. Then let's take a look at that uh, T2108 here really quick. And um, I get lots of questions on, on these things. I know nobody watches a 40 day moving average is not something that you would normally watch, but I do think it is curious that we, uh, we have set new record highs and we have fewer and fewer stocks doing that. Um, so those select stocks, if they start selling, that could be a real problem for us in the market. Right now, there's no worry about that, but we do have to consider that we may be kind of blowing a little bit of a bubble here in the market because of the sharp elevation that we have uh, made, um, considering the inflation and some of those internal in indicators of the market. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Today. Our economic calendars, we have a little bit on there today, and it's I think it's going to be interesting to see how this comes out. We know that inflation is starting to put some pressure on the consumer. Um, we're seeing it in, in everything we, we do and buy. Um, our housing costs are higher. Our rents are higher. Our food prices are sharply higher. Our energy prices are sharply higher, and all of those things are having an impact on the consumer. So it's going to be interesting today. Um, our consumer sentiment has been pretty low here. Um, though we did tick higher last month, it'll be an interesting look at that today. Will the consumers continue to feel the pinch? Will we see that sentiment um, um, increase or will we see it pull back? Could be an interesting number today and could be the inspiration whether or not um, we start to worry about that inflation a little bit more today or if those bulls can push on through and shake it off. And then we have that job openings report here today and it'll be interesting to see if we're making some progress on that job openings report. We do have a Fed speaker here today. I don't think that'll move us around at all. And the Fed balance sheet here on uh, Friday, which is not normal, but nobody cares. It's over eight and a half trillion dollars and we just keep printing because we love printed money. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar for today. Our earnings calendar is starting to wind down here just a little bit. Um, and as we wind down, we're going to, uh, well, it'll just be interesting to see uh, whether or not consumers will be out spending enough to get us a Santa Claus rally this year, because we're going to start losing that inspiration here in um, those earnings reports. We have about 85 companies on the list today, but we have a large number, number of those that are small caps that are unconfirmed reports. So we don't have all that much for notables here today. 
Um, and we really don't have anything that I would suggest would be m truly market moving. So we're going to lose some of that inspiration. Let's take a look at AZN. AZN reporting today, it looks like um, they disappointed here uh, this morning. VIVO is on the list. Looks like they uh, found some bullishness here this morning and looking a little bit higher. We have um, MFG that will be reporting. We we have um, SPD that we'll be reporting. Um, we'll hear from NGD um, here today. Um, there's a couple others I put on the no the notable list, but I got to tell you, they're not hugely notable. So, not a not a day that's really going to have a lot of inspiration on that earnings front. So we may be looking to more toward that economic calendar for inspiration or possibly political news or something like that. So watch carefully for that. So how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, really quickly, if, uh, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I post a video. And then also, if you feel the video is worthy, if, if this kind of no hype and no prediction type content um, is helpful to you if you could please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment it's the it's the engagement with the channel that makes the difference and i just want to say thank you so much for everyone who does do that it does mean the world to me truly truly appreciate it we are growing slowly growing um, but we are growing and we're approaching that 25,000 and there will be a giveaway. I'm, I'm a wood carver and I'm going to send somebody a personally um, uh, carved um, piece that um, you can have for the holidays. Let's take a look at the stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to do your own due diligence on these charts. Make sure you understand the risk of every single trade. And just because I mentioned these stocks does not mean um, that they are suitable for you to trade. Make sure you understand the risk of every position and never ever blindly follow someone else's trade. Let's take a look. Um, yesterday, I picked up a position in plug. Um, you guys can see the patterns that I like to trade where we um, follow the trend. We had a nice little resting pattern out here to move over to trend. Picked this up early on yesterday. Had a nice result by the end of the day. Plug power. And I got to tell you, I think... Um, I think the hydrogen technology um, honestly has a better chance of powering our um, electric vehicles than um, all of these charging stations all over the country because we're going to need a massive infrastructure improvement to do that to create enough electricity and we, we really don't have the electrical um, energy generation to supply all of these vehicles yet so um, I think um, uh, fuel cell technology or hydrogen technology um, definitely has that potential to really um, move these EV vehicles along. So keep an eye on plug um, moving up here in the chart. Um, we'll see if it can continue to move through to the upside. Um, let's take a look at a couple others. You guys know that I'd mentioned Harley Davidson earlier on this week. And we continued this drift back down in this chart. But we are trying to hold on to this little downtrend break, and we are trying to hold on a little bit of support here in the chart. Harley had a good earnings report. I'm not saying that this is a bullish chart yet in, in any means, but I do think it's one that you could keep on your watch list. And this is one of those classic patterns that we trade. It's called a round of bottom breakout pattern. And that's where that price breaks out above that 50 day moving average. And notice that that 50 day moving average is starting to turn and flatten out. And I got to tell you guys, if you're interested in this pattern, and I got to tell you, this is a very productive, a very profitable pattern to learn to trade. Um, my good friend Rick Sadler is going to be teaching um, this this is his baby. Um, he um, he created this pattern 
um, and the trading rules around this pattern. He's going to be teaching a class coming up here soon. If you guys jump back to the website, um, hitrundcandlesticks.com, you will see um, a notice on that. I would highly recommend you getting signed up for that class. Um, a very productive pattern for me to trade. Um, so in this round of bottom breakout, we have that possibility that Harley Davidson could move up into this area up here toward the 200 day moving average. And um, we want to watch for that possibility in that chart. Let's take a look. We have other charts that are looking pretty good. Um, let's take a look at TLRY. A TLRY is in that same pattern. Notice how we've broken this downtrend here in the chart. We finally held it as support and now we're starting to perk up. We broke through a little bit of resistance, getting that little resting pullback and seeing some buyers stepping up here. So keep a close eye on that. TLRY really starting to pick up here, maybe looking um, like a buy. Um, even today, let's take a look at that. And if we look at that, there's that rounded bottom breakout again, pushing up through that 50 day moving average, showing that bullishness. So we would look for that to maybe kick on through to the upside. And, you know, you could also look at other cannabis stocks, you know, um, um, uh, MJ, MJ um, cannabis ETF, breaking that downtrend, trying to show that bullishness, trying to round itself back up. So you might want to keep an eye on some of these cannabis plays they're starting to come back around. Take a look at FedEx. FedEx, if you guys remember, I have mentioned this. This was my price alert here on FedEx. And there's that pattern again. Doggone it. Isn't that something? Breaking that downtrend here on the chart, holding that higher low. And look at look at it go here. Uh, FedEx continues to look good. It's been kind of a grindy little chart um, up, but a nice little profitable chart. Um, any rest in here now that we've kind of popped through this little gap here in the chart, any rest or consolidation in here, could that holds on to this trend could offer more upside opportunity in the chart. And if you take a look at UPS, UPS also found a little inspiration yesterday, tried to pop through some resistance. Um, if UPS starts lifting up, and we know this is the shipping time of the year um, with all the holidays, uh, these companies might do pretty well. So keep a close eye on that as they try to move up. As you guys remember, I mentioned uh, General Motors yesterday. Um, that little pullback that we um, had in the chart and then yesterday um, uh, Thursday's bullishness right here um, I mentioned it yesterday in the morning video following through nicely yesterday with a big push to the upside keep a close eye on that uh, General Motors uh, breaking through some of that resistance any rest or consolidation in here would set up some opportunity take a look at a stock like LUMN um, Lumen um, had a big surge on its earnings report, popped through big time here uh, to the upside. And let's take a look at how that is setting up here after a little bit of rest. So we popped through, catch it a little bit of rest, and yesterday we fired on up to the upside on this chart. If you're a dividend trader, this might be something of interest. We've got a pretty strong dividend in this chart. Um, if that can continue to move up. But keep in mind, guys, there is considerable price resistance out here in this chart to deal with. So maybe one for the list may not be one to jump right on just yet. Take a look at Constellation Brands, STZ. STZ had a good day yesterday, pumping through some resistance. I've been talking about just a little bit of that consumer defensive sector um, here just recently starting to perk back up. Folks, maybe with inflation, maybe looking for a little bit of safety. So take a look at that. Um, Constellation Brands had a nice day, it may be able to follow through to the upside in the chart. And if you guys remember, gosh, all of a sudden I just had a senior moment and forgot the ticker I wanted to jump to. Um, um, but I did talk about, um, oh my goodness. Well, I apologize, guys. A little bit of a senior moment happening there. Um, I had a ticker right in mind that I wanted to jump to. Um, but um, we're seeing a lot of these um, stocks out here where we just get that, that nice little surge yesterday in the market. So keep a close eye on that. 
um, as we continue to progress forward. So with that, everyone, hey, I apologize for that little um, f forgetfulness on my part. I want to wish you all a fantastic day and, and a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early Monday.